Hello, beautiful soul. Hello. Welcome. Or well, welcome back if you're part of the tribe. This is the Mystic Maze. And for today, pick a card reading or pick a maze reading. I would like to ask something about the first impression that people have of you or if you have a person, a special person, a special one on your mind, you can apply that for that case too. Okay, so let's take a moment to pick the card and also to connect better with your intuition as this is the only one answer for you to guide you through this choice and through this path okay so let's take a moment i will let you see the card and then you will find the timestamps um, in the description box whenever you are ready find your peaceful corner and let's start together so for maze number one we do have truth number 25 for maze 2, we do have joy number 26. And for maze number 3, we do have 6 freedom. So you can also pause the video and whenever you feel connected or drawn to one pile or more than one, you can click and you will find me in your maze by your side. I see you there. Bye. Hello, Maze One, dear explorer, welcome. This is your maze and your thread. We do have truth number 25. I will keep it in here for you to see. Let me shuffle other cards for you to see. What is the first impression that people or a special person may have regarding you? We do have lion spirit, be generous of spirit. And we do also have Think on your feet, the fox spirit. We do also have for you, for pile one, with the first impression on pile one. We do have freedom breaking the chains, number 24. Want one card more for you from the oracles to see if it is resonating with you, my dear explorer. Let's see one, one card for you. We do have trust number 30, 34. So let me okay, set the cards. So let me start by saying that. This person or people really see you as someone who is truthful and the best truth that you're bringing is with yourself. So I feel like they're seeing you also very free of mind in the way you propose things and express yourself. I feel like also for some of you, this is very specific and it may resonate only with few of you. In the way you dress, in the way you look in the suits and the clothes that you are choosing i feel like you love to you see this lady seems to have some sort of mask and this is very interesting as we are speaking about trust so no matter um, how many it's like facades you do have but i'm feeling like other people and also your special person can see you through all the angles and perspective that you propose. So I feel like they are seeing you as very complete as a whole, as a whole personality. So full of potentials, full of grace as well. I feel like being generous of spirit means also to free other people's mind and mindset. Yes, my cat Dudu is here to bring some beautiful energies in this reading i feel like the lion is a super free animal for me very related to other people very generous and also bringing some sort of leadership so i feel like also you have a very strong character and you're very cleverish 
because I'm picking like you decide for yourself because the, the fox spirit is saying think on your own feet and also you are sharing you're able to share the truth so I'm feeling like we are speaking about some kind of knowledge but also some kind of wisdom that you bring and underneath everything you know all the layers that you propose all the masks masks are coming down and you see also this lady seems to have four eyes so it's very able to see things and to see very far away whereas other people cannot so i'm picking like you have some sort of introspection and on the other side uh, connecting you're very able to connect with the out outside world and see the things and you're bringing truth as a diamond as a gem and also as a flower is like your vibration is very high because you see this is like the tool the instrument and you are showing some sort of melody some sort of vibration in you that is so truthful first of all to yourself that is the way you free other people as well to um, you help them to be themselves and I feel like this is the first impression also with the lion I'm picking like you are very generous for sure of art a person of heart some sort of free spirit in here I can feel and for some of you it can be that you're very full of grace so I'm feeling like some kind of elegance very beauty the lion usually is very beautiful and also if we are speaking about zodiacal signs is um one of the most you know with the beautiful hair very you know delicate and and uh, refined you know in the way he or she proposed himself or herself so the lioness as well I want to see some tarots for you, my dear, right now. We do have the Angda Man. Okay. We do have the Five of Wands. Some other cards for you, my dear. Let me shuffle better the cards. What's the first impression on pile one? Okay. Two of wands. Okay. Nine of cups. Very clever, it's very independent, independent as well. If it is resonating. And we have temperance. At the back of the deck, we have the knight of swords. So again, I'm feeling like people perceive of you, the first impression that they have of you, also if we're speaking about a special person, is like sometimes you take your time to do your things and I'm feeling like with the perception on the angled man is like you seems to be, you seem to be very intelligent and following your intuition and is bringing some cautious. And also is a whole man, the angry man is like to slow down just a little bit and not to be too rational because I'm feeling like you are really able to balance those two aspects. But I'm feeling like you can be sometimes kind of rushy with a lot of freedom, with a lot of thinking on yourself, with your own two feet and thinking for yourself as well, but also a, being able to share some truth and all the things that you want and feel like. I'm picking like you can be a risk taker and you are going slow. You are learning to go slow. So also they're seeing you as very full of connection with your inner words and inner word. And I'm feeling like they perceive you sometimes very edgy with the five of wands and also with the knights of uh, swords that can be you know, swords are of communication and ones in this case are of litigation. So I feel like you're feeling very free to express yourself whenever is needy, needed on um, for you. So I'm feeling like they perceive that your words and your action are very direct sometimes. Maybe too much. Maybe you may sound sometimes arrogant because you, you is like you want to you know, to be logical, to set the rules, to very fierce personality as well. 
I'm feeling like also with this truth card is like you want to have your truth and to bring them into light and I'm feeling like you help people they, they see you as very decisive and decided personality with the two of wands it's like the two of wands is like a portal and you are able to see to distinct you know so it's about also discernment some kind of discernment when you're picking decision in life i feel like they're seeing you as very independent with this nine of cups do do you want to say hi honey do you want to come here you are like a special guest say hi okay my love you want to stay here if you want you can so i'm feeling that with this nine of cups you see dudu is nine of cups <laughs> yeah it's like you are very able to manage many cups and also to stay on your own so this is like a card of independence it's like you are not a needy personality that's why you are so strong and you have some sort of leadership because when we are needy we engage with people that are providers but sometimes this can be very toxic but on the contrary in here i'm seeing you as very able also to find a new balance so you're very balancing also finding some kind of diplomacy with this temperance card and i feel like you can be someone who is very patient that brings and share a lot of you know truth for sure um knowledge information i feel like the energies that are coming to me is for sure of someone who is middle-aged and is of soul i'm feeling like this is we are speaking about the mystical soul so the age is of the soul not uh, anagraphical and i'm feeling like you're bringing some elements very important for other people that are there to listen to you because also this king is like a knight is for communication sharing information bringing some movement in and to be very decided as well because swords is like it depends on the use that you decide to bring on okay but i'm picking like you're very you have your own ideas that's what i can tell you and i'm feeling like the vibration that people see very convincing and convinced on your own truth i'm feeling like you have many masks in a very good way so also is like you find for some of you that's what gets to me sometimes you're very funny and cleverish because you show some side of you but it's like a test it's like you're testing other people and it's like a um when you are masked you know some kind of event also social event something like you propose yourself in many ways and you want to see if people are picking your personality so it's like you're testing you love to test people and to take very slowly the decisions to share some kind of you know piece of life uh with them walking and wandering in this beautiful universe and lifetime with uh, some of them and i'm feeling like you're very independent and strong so free to tell free to play also this is like a play this is like a theater mask as well for me so this is everything my dear explorer i hope that you enjoy and take only the things that are resonating if you want to stay in the mystic maze flow and share some other energies with the tribe, you have many buttons that you can click. I thank you for spending your time with me and I wish you the very best. Bye. Hello, Explorer. This is the card you picked, the maze. Maze number two, Joy. The number is 26 very convincing very good vibes and i'm feeling like joyful a person of art this is what is coming to me right now i would like to shuffle some cards and this is general so take only the things that are resonating i will use some oracle cards right now to start with those are very rigid i don't know if you perceive that what is first impression for pile number two? Maze number two. Okay. We have a new beginning. New beginnings, plural. Very maternal energies, very fascinating with 
some kind of moons, you know, very deep. I want some other alacos for you. Let's take our time. What's the first impression on pile two? Grief accepting loss number 12. No, sorry, is 17. Okay. Someone is perceiving a change and grief and joy. So very balancing energy in here. A lot of variety, I could tell you. Those are rigid, so I cannot properly shuffle them. So I will create. Okay. Let's take our time and do it slowly. I will keep this. Nightingale spirit, love is all around. I want to see those two if they are speaking. Be at home, wombat spirit. I will keep it in here. And this other card, the oak spirit, let spirit be your guide. So yes. So I will start by that so you can uh, see if it is resonating, okay? So I feel like, my dear explorer, that with this card of joy, I'm feeling like we're coming to a culmination. So it's like the climax of a story is like a twist that we do have. And this is like for the best. I feel like people perceive that you are so full of energies so vibrant with your ideas with the sharing of these beautiful vibrations that you have in, inside of you i feel like that you can be connected very much with nature with flowers with stones and um rivers stones also the rocks you know mountains i feel like you can be also connecting a lot with the lyrics um with the lyrics i'm saying you know lyrical songs um this is an ARP, so I feel like you're very delicate and you want to play. It's like you're very, for some of you can be that your tone of, um, of your voice can be very, you know, musically speaking, it's very gentle, very high notes that I'm feeling like you use a lot, uh, this kind of vibration and you're very really confident because your eyes are closed in this picture. So I'm feeling like you are full of joy and tenderness compassion is like your free spirit in some kind of way new beginnings i feel like yes my cat is here to do you want to say hi baby oh my love yes she's saying hi so explorer i'm picking like with the new beginnings um accompanied by the grief card accepting loss is like you've been on a very bad trip in here and you resolve the situation so it's like quitting um a bad vibration that you may have in the past uh, energies such as for some kind of loss so i don't know is um some abandonment that we're speaking so somebody abandoned you or just the contrary so it's like leaving something behind and elaborating i mean i feel like people are perceiving that you elaborated the loss so right now you have a very brand new energy that is higher much higher and i don't know if this is the impression that you make on your special person that you're thinking of but i'm picking like they, they see you under a brand new light with a brand new knowledge on things you see this card is very darkish and grayish and this card is so full of details my love is so full of details and with this new beginning is like this is for me like a dragon and this lady is very feminine is naked and is uh, has brand new eyes on things on situation in life also in the mystical path and also i feel like the energies that you are bringing are very special full of potential and full of new perceptions i feel like you have also new perceptions on things it's like you left some kind of griefing um, energies in the past. 
that were resonating a lot in your life. And right now you have the chance and the possibility to give new vibes, you know, new vibration to bring new energies. Also, um, when you're meeting new people and I feel like right now the more external energies are of joy because it's like you resolved this situation. I feel like also with this nightingale spirit that, and this one wombat spirit, be at home and love is all around. I feel like you are finding your center, your core. It's like you're finding your brand new house or home and it's more emotional than ever. And I feel like it's like you finally found your place, you know, and also your placement. So I'm picking like, for some of you, I don't know if you moved uh, where you where you where you are living, you know, the country, the nation, or also the town, or something like that, or place more generally. For some of you, can be, but I'm picking like we are more speaking about the energies in the surroundings. So I'm feeling like you were able to clear to clean you know, the energies and the toxicity of some kind of people, events around you. And you are now able to find um, your tribe, your soul family, you know, and some feel like you're more surrounded by good vibes that resonates with your higher, higher energies right now. And this is very visible from the outside. Maybe I'm feeling like also your... Um, I, I'm, I have this word in Spanish, la cara, it's the face, you know? I feel like your face is very illuminated. You have some kind of modification in your expression, facial expression. So maybe I feel like you are able very deeply to smile. And this is like super wonderful, super full of joy, vibrating like, you know, it's a sunny place with you and it's very lovely. Also with the let spirit be your guide is like you're um, understanding much better your intuition and you are ready to follow your um, inner thoughts, your inner perceptions and intuitions, okay? So I feel like people are really able to see that and I feel like this is very working out as a very beautiful uh, reading for me. I would like to see some cards for you, my dear Explorer 5. And this griefing moment, I'm feeling like you accept it. It's like you elaborated that. And uh, not only by analyzing that from a rational point of view, but also feeling spiritually, mystically. So we're speaking about another perception, other eyes that you have on a situation, okay? So let's see the first impression, okay? We have the High Priestess, very intriguing. So let me shuffle more the cards, you know. I wanted to do it and then I got lost. Okay. What other messages for you, pile two? Let's see. We have the Anged Man. This is the second time that is coming out. Okay. We do have the Seven of Wands. We do also have the Ten of Cups. I told you, very beautiful of fulfillment. And then we do have the Six of Pentacles. But let me move the cards just a little bit. Let's take our time. And we do also have the Word. Okay. <laughs> Very fascinating when the cards are resonating this way and judgment. Many, many major arcana, I can tell you that. So dear pile to explore, this is your maze. Let's enter it properly. So I feel like with this beautiful high priestess, it's like you are seeing very far. It's like you're very connected with the moon, with the emotional side, internal energies, very, you know, all the secrets, all the fears. So very, uh, sometimes do me, do me places, do me vibrations, but you are really, re really, really able to manage them right now. 
is like by being the high priestess is like we're speaking about in high some sort of knowledge wisdom that is coming i feel like you changed your perception so sometimes when you feel like to um inactive is like not in activities like you're thinking you're more connecting with your intuitions because you want to be um, able to see very deeply very deeply you know the things that are happening to you and also deeply the facts the causes the energies that are around a situation a person i don't feel like you're really able to do that and it's like psychic um, energies that are coming to me so you really see very far okay i'm not saying you have some kind of gifts but you may have because i feel like very strong energies of feminine energies connected with the moon so very deep deep energies with the seven of wands it's like you're guarded sometimes and also some sometimes also very stubborn you want to go your way it's like this man is trying to protect himself but you don't need it because you have special powers. So maybe right now it's time to balance them. And uh, I'm feeling like balancing is the proper word because I feel like you are guarded. And in the middle of this guarded and this seven of pentacles, that is another card of balance, you know, is like someone asked you a favor for help uh, or the contrary, but something started as an exchange very um positively but sometimes was not very balanced and i feel like you need to work out you needed to work out the situation that's why you went too deeply to you know start your um exploration and i'm feeling like in the underground you came to your highest point of ten of cups so fulfillment in every kind of aspect in your life also in your mystical journey so very beautiful with this word and with this judgment you know there is a calling there is a closure of some bad energies and there is something i mean it's like you're at the end of a trip you know of a voyage of mystical one of bringing you joy bringing you new vibration very higher much higher than before and people do perceive that also you're a special person and with the judgment it's like you're opening your eyes right now it's like you have collected you know all and gathered all the energies and um notions you know the wisdoms i don't know if plural is okay but do you understand it's very big deal in here so it's like you have collected a lot of also bad uh, events you were under that um, situations and right now you're upon them okay it's like everything get in reverse and you're able to clearly bring br brand new energies this is of success expansion and a lot of joy that you bring to people to this special person and into the world so this is very beautiful and this is a higher calling this is like an awakening you have been healing yourself you everything you've been passed through right now has a higher higher meaning so and you see of celebration of reunion and this is very beautiful so this is everything for the moment i call it the things that are resonating as this is general i'm very curious so if you want to exchange some energies also in the comments and if you want to stay in the flow, you can as well, for sure, click some buttons, subscribe, you know, there is a bell in there and uh, you can stay in the flow of the Mystic Maze with the tribe, okay? And keep updated too. So thank you for spending your time with me. I wish you the very best of luck and I'll see you very soon. Bye. Hello Maze Free, this is Freedom, very beautiful card very intriguing as well let's keep it in here and let's start with some oracle cards for you to see if it is resonating so let's take our time also for shuffling some cards those are very rigid so i will shuffle them this way if i am able to okay let's see what about Pile three. This one. We have better spirit, be fearless and bold. Very interesting. 
related to freedom. Take the lead, the stag spirit. I'm loving it. Some sort of leadership has already come out. So let's see if it is resonating with you. My dear explorer, about the first impression. Okay. I don't know if there is a special person or... Let's take our time to make the reading. We do have time as a special resource. I think it can be appropriate for sure. Let's see other cards, colorful cards. Yes, my cat is here. If you see her or just hear her, is she's here. She's here to bring some energies. It's like this card is calling new dawn wow new dawn hmm let's use them uh, in another way i want to set them this way okay so my dear explorer i feel like if you pick this freedom card is like you are super free i feel like you can be a free spirit i'm picking like energies of rebellion <laughs> Okay, so you can be some sort of rebel, you love to do things in reverse as usual, and it's like the salmon, you know, the salmon, the fish, that is able to go um, in the other direction of other salmons, and I feel like you can be described also as very similar to that um, condition, I'm feeling, and also people are, I'm thinking like people fall for you because you're so free you are fearless and this is like the next step of the reading be fearless and bold because you already are you know that you are super free i'm feeling like you don't have obstacles and this is very beautiful and i'm feeling like very strong energies and vibration very high and very young as well I feel like you want to lead in some kind of way and that's why we do have this tag as well. So I feel like you're very dominant uh, if we are speaking about uh, couple dynamics and also relationship mo more in general. And I feel like also at work, you can be at the workplace, you can be in this kind of position. So it's like you're very high level um, conscious of how to lead, you know, um, when people have problems, when they are in trouble, it's like you offer yourself uh, as a pillar and people do recognize you as a pillar in the community, in the tribe. So also in, uh, in partnership, it's like you are safe, a safe personality. Uh, it's like you are in a safe place and you bring people to protect them. I'm feeling like your energies are on expansion. So I'm feeling like these young uh, energies that are coming are coming from not from the anagraphical age, but I'm feeling like the new dawn, very connected with time, that is the special resource. It's like you are trying to govern time. And the best way to govern time is like to enjoy it, to live it for, for, for sure, uh, you know, for real, for real to be real in everything. I'm feeling like this very special reading is coming to me as an energy of very decided personality, strong personality that you may have. And that side of you is like trying to come out in every um, way possible. Is like the way you um, style yourself, the way you make up yourself if you have more um, female energies, the way you put on your accessories, the way you choose your bags and shoes. I'm feeling like in the look, at first look, they, they can see that you are dominant. And I feel like you are not afraid to tell things, to show things, to express your ideas. And it's like this time card is of a special resource that you are neglecting or that can be your strength and uh, your strength and i'm feeling like this is on your favor because you have the new dawn and new dawn is when you are leaving uh the unnecessary behind and you free yourself 
and you're really able to express and live life you know as a whole in this mystical journey so i feel like for the mystical age you can be a young adult and right now is like you're trying to enjoy the more you can every aspect of life and this is very beautiful and i hope that this is resonating with you so let's see some tarots my dear one this is very strong and i feel like i i I don't have much to tell because if it is resonating, you know it all. And it's like you can think of all the details and aspects of life when you are fearless, bold. It's like the song that is coming to my mind is like from Taylor Swift, you know. <laughs> she's very like that. She's very red, reddish. And she's like on fire. And she's very brave as well. And it's like you are super brave and courageous something like in this lifetime so okay those cards are for you my dear explorer we do have the four of cups i don't know how to arrange the cards we do have the sun we do have the three of swords the two of swords very interesting those are more underground energies you know this has come out the fool and the page of swords okay okay back of the deck we do have the eight of pentacles good news for you okay so let's start from the beginning. So the main energies are saving you, absolutely saving you. This is the Eight of Pentacles. It's like you're studying. You have been studying and it's like recalculating some kind of root. So these energies is bringing some renewal of the root. So it's like you are updating your map in life also from a mystical point of view. And it's like you are really able to see new things and to gather your energies and your intellectual side i'm seeing very intellectual side in here because i'm feeling like you're very rational you are free and sometimes you are too risky and too rational at the same time so i don't know how you can be able to do that but it is possible so i feel like those energies are creating some sort of very interesting personality that people or maybe uh, you have a special person on your mind. I feel like very, um, you know, it's like a roller coaster in here because we do have the sun that is super clear card for clarity, high vibrations, very joyful um, energies coming in. And also I feel like you are some kind of in division, you know, you are fragmented because we do have a lot of griefing and sadness in your heart. And I feel like this is like, due to some kind of choice that you are doing right now so people perceive you as divided so i feel like they see you your potential in your best um light and i feel like you're attempting because the full energies and also the page is like someone someone's you know both of them are very young and uh, energies that are coming to me and i feel like you can be yes for sure is some kind of um young adult energies uh, regarding your soul and your journey uh from a mystical point of view because i feel like you love to take some risks you you love to gamble <laughs> you know it's like a russian roulette you love to play games i'm also feeling like lady gaga in here a little bit you know as vibration i feel like also with this page of sword is like communication and action and decisions can be one of your element hair element i'm feeling like sometimes you're stuck in it okay because yes we do have this art and this griefing but it's connected to thoughts so the mental you're very mental personality and you're still developing your own element i'm picking like and to start with we do have the four of cups the four of cups is like a refusal so it's like you were not able to see something and i feel like people is like perceiving that you are so so close to the solution of something that you have some sort of conflict that you may have inside of you and i feel like you also see that because you also have the sun you know 
for clarity so some truth that has to come out but i'm picking like you can be sometimes like on a roller coaster so sometimes you're able to see it on the other side you're not still convinced and you sound confused so people perceive those two energies very young very fierce very brave very this is like the leap of faith also is like believing in everything and you know very with a dog with being so you know um trustworthy regarding yourself very authentical to yourself to your true self and higher self and i feel like you're still working out the situation with starting by starting a lot by taking conscience on situation and i feel like your way out of these energies will be balancing soon for the moment you are like very young energies that are coming and sometimes very conflicted and fragmented. But I'm feeling like time, the new dawn, new eyes on the situation and take the lead. Maybe this kind of leadership that you may have with other people is necessary in this case for your own uh, development. So the kind of leadership that is asked you to... Um, you know to start is regarding yourself your personality so i don't know i'm saying you many numbers this we have four we have four and we have uh 58 so i don't know if they're telling you something do the ones to say something to you as well and she's here to encourage you to take the lead of your life to take the instrument and to study a lot okay to feel more concentrated on the self this is an eight is like the self work that you're making on yourself and this is so precious so beautiful and so courageous because you need to have the courage and to be brave to see yourself without judging yourself and that's the only way you can gain clarity and you may be able to have all the cups that you desire that maybe are full of water that is for self-love you know and self-esteem and so that you can be more united with your energies but this is a very brand new point a brand new beginning a new dawn for you that is coming and people are perceiving a lot a lot of potential regarding you so this is everything my dear explorer let me um, have one card for this um three okay <laughs> Yes, there is a sort of litigation. So maybe you are, you know, on litigation with the word outside, but this is like representative with people, but it's internal. I'm picking like, and judgment is the awakening and the seven is like you see the harvest and you want to cultivate, you want to go on to struggle to become this eight. I feel like this is due to young energies and I want one card for these two uh, of sorts to finish <laughs> the first impression okay it's like you're avoiding something right now and it's like you're sneaky regarding a situation but whenever you will be ready to face it it's like you have a very brand new face and your potential come on this is your potential okay the back of the deck ten of cup of cups very beautiful so i hope you enjoyed take only the things that are resonating as this was general if you want to exchange some energies i'm curious about you so let's comment together and um there are many buttons you can click to stay in the flow and keep updated with the tribe so you know the way better than me so uh thank you very much for staying and i wish you the very best of luck with your journey and first impression i see you soon bye